Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why exactly I use Quickshell on Hyperlind versus other things like Waybar. Now, people always get it confused. That's Waybar. That's Waybar. It's it's not Waybar. This is one entity. The dock, everything is a module to this entity and it's called Quickshell. I'm going to call it an entity because it just makes more sense to call it an entity. So that's what we're doing. What that means is this is made at a quick shell okay this dock is made at a quick shell this panel is made at a quick shell that clock that weather this sidebar this all of it is one connected thing and it just allows you to be ridiculously module with everything you do it takes up less ram than it normally would it's fast it's efficient and it's optimized and that's what you want now to get this working uh it's like a normal config you just start off in your dot config folder inside of your quick shell folder and you just start building what you want uh there's a shell dot qml there is a reload pop-up we got global states this is completely useless and like we have assets and icons that we could use images there's the default wallpaper honestly i'm about to totally replace that with an actual good wallpaper probably the one i'm using right now then we have modules so background widget i don't even know if we have a background widget or not i'm looking no we don't so there's nothing there that's supposed to be a time widget on this, but I don't think it worked out the way they wanted to. Then we have the bar, which is up here. And inside this bar, there's other modules. So active window, bar module, battery, indicator, network tooltip, all of it, right? And then we have the arch logo module. And yeah, this is everything that's currently attached. So you go in here, you can edit this to whichever way you want and make it all work. As of late, I redid my config and had more stuff added to it, so now it looks even more fancy. It's nice. The dock is something that was built from scratch. There wasn't really much to go off of. This other guy was working on it. He was making some headway, and over the weekend, I just built it into what it was, to where we can drag and drop icons, and we can right-click and pin, and then we have this menu, and then we have move to workspace when an application is open, like that. <clears throat> you can toggle floating and it's a fully functioning dock it's awesome it doesn't need all the features in the universe to work either that's the great part about it it just works the way that i want it to and you got people out there like why do you need a dog that goes against everything that hyperlind is hyperlind was designed to be what you wanted it to be you want a dock you get a dock you want a panel you get a panel okay panel up here right there dock down here very separate things. This is not a taskbar. The taskbar is full width across the entire screen on the bottom. That's what that is. Oh my. There's a lot of things, isn't there? You can make separators. You can make item menu panel. That's what this is. You know, it's just endless. And again, everything just keeps nice and cozy, which is great. <clears throat> so that would be the main reason why i mean you really think about it you want something that just encumbers who you are and makes it really easy to enjoy yourself like this isn't this is a desktop environment for me this is not some uh windows manager it handles windows sure everything just works it looks great it runs great but this is a desktop environment for me. I, I went and I built my own desktop environment. Wow, we got all that said in four minutes. Hmm, where do I go from here? All right, this was inspired by macOS, okay, first and foremost, but also by GNOME at the same time. Now, this was done in a way where I would have all my bits and bobs and it would be great. But... Quickshell is still in the beginning of its coding phase, uh, them adding things, them working with things. 
That's why things like this menu are over there instead of directly below. That's why this menu here intrudes on the dock itself instead of being anchored above it. Okay, if I did that, it would be stretched from here to here and it would be very annoying. And that's why this opens and for some reason, the main focus is on the other monitor instead of the current monitor, which you've opened it on. I have to fix that. And that's also why it doesn't automatically refresh itself when you install a new application. There's many different limits. That's also why there's no icon right here. Because again, there's no icon handling system. You can build in default system uh, icons to handle everything. But when you go to change the icon set, it does not change with you. Now, I do have these up as dot files, but here's the thing. Uh, these are for me. And if you want to use them, go ahead. I'm not really going to assist with it. It's, I know how to set it up. I install N4, and then I replace their quick shell with my quick shell folder, and then that's it. That's how I do it. I tried to make an install script for everybody to make everybody happy, but there's hard coding and there's other things that I have to deal with. And I'm just not, that would take too much of my time. And I don't want to have to deal with that constantly because every time I fix something, it breaks. And I don't like it. It bugs me. So that's why I haven't made any updates to it since. It, like if anything, I'm trying to find more avenues where I, I can exist. Like... Yeah, there's a house builder fit girl. I was taking a look at that. Like with this. You may not believe it, but last night I got bored and I started learning this, which is uh, Godot. I I just don't want to have to constantly handle dealing with quick shell install script. If someone wants to go to my GitHub and fix up that install script, so that it makes life easy for all of you, you can do that. I will accept that pull request in seconds. But there's not much I can do besides that. I'm just done. I'm fed up, you know? Check this out. Battle system. Currently, the sprites are not functioning, but whatever. I do the best that I can. We got a new game. And we start the adventure. Look, I have a little dude. And uh, there's somewhat... I know it's really zoomed out. <clears throat> There's somewhat of collision going on. Isn't that nifty? Oh, there's that rock. And then there's this guy. But this guy is supposed to trigger a battle, but he doesn't. It's really annoying. And Yeah, I'm just trying to learn what I can. I really should be super zoomed in on the character itself. Uh, I have to figure out how to do that later. But... I think it has to do with him, that, or in the camera, zoom, right? So what if we just went, what's that? Let's try that. Oh, there we go. All right, I just fixed it. Now, uh, overall thoughts and opinions on Quick Show. Just do it just switch over to it it's super simplistic and easy to learn uh one of my friends lysek he's been learning it non-stop the stuff that he's done is honestly ridiculous like look at this god damn it can you please come over here thank you look at this how cool is this he does a bit of theming indeed and this is his current setup and honestly i'm really really impressed i like this but then but then that that by the way that pops up right that holds your icons and stuff i think he stole my dock and integrated it which i'm very proud of him for yeah i'm going to show you the rest of this look at that look how clean that is see and i want him to help him i want him to help fix up and stabilize my current layout but i don't think he wants to it would be very, very exciting to have him fix up my layout. Like, this needs to just not be that color. Honestly, I would rather it be light purple than red or burgundy. I think that's burgundy. <clears throat> Same with this. Light purple, light purple. Like, accents of light purple everywhere. 
I think that would look fairly, really cool. Because I like light purple. I like dark purple. I like medium purple. Lots and lots of purple. It makes me happy. Oh, my. Now, honestly, I think I might do a video with him. Like, uh, get him to record it on his side where he goes over his desktop, that the, his window, his, his hyperland. And uh, God, I know many of you would be excited to use that thing. It's... It's actually pretty interesting, to say the least. Like, I wonder if he's made an upload of it lately. I'm going to go up in our DMs, and I'm going to try to find it. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. It got changed three days ago. Switch to Neri. Oh, no. He's crossed over to the dark side. Well, I mean, that's technically a reason for me to try out Neri, right? Man, one second. I'm going to ask him because I want to try it. Yeah. It's definitely interesting what he's done. I like it a lot. All right. Now, to detail that, I'm off. I hope you guys got a good explanation. And we'll see if we can visit it tomorrow before I end up heading off for the weekend with my kids. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you're going to try out Quickshell to make a desktop experience or whatever you want. It's viable for anything if this video is something you found entertaining maybe hit the like button help me out with that algorithm if you're new here subscribe and again this is a panel this is a dock not a task bar okay they're very different things and this is not Waybar. this is quick shell bye everybody